Hello again. We're still on operation of functions, and this time we're going to be multiplying two functions, and we're going to be dividing two functions. And it's not really that difficult, and I wrote it in the same way, f times g. If it was g times x, you'd put the g first on the f. But in this case, it's f times g of x. Uh, that can be written as f of x times g of x. And then you can write f of x over g of x as f uh, over g uh, all to the x, or all times x. Either way is fine. I personally prefer this way than this way. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply two functions together. And uh, my f of x is x squared minus 3x plus 1, so I'm going to do that first. Times my g of x, which is 4x plus 5. And every time I do that, I just make sure I uh, distribute properly. Some people call it FOIL. I wouldn't call this one FOIL, but if you want to, it's fine. x squared times 4x. 4x cubed. x squared times 5 is 5x squared. Negative 3 times, um, yeah, I did that one right. Negative 3x times 4x is negative 12x squared. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15x. 1 times 4x is 4x. And 1 times 5 is 5. Combine like terms. So I got 4x cubed. Oof, where am I going to write this? Right here, looks fine. Uh, 5x squared minus 12x squared is negative 7x squared. Uh, negative 15x plus 4x is negative 11x plus 5. I know for a fact if I try factoring by grouping, it's not going to work out nicely. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not going to sit there and try to find the zeros because all it did was ask me to multiply, so I'm done. Yeah, looks good to me. This one's a lot easier in this case, but not always uh, is division easier. So I take f of x, which is x squared minus 3x plus 1. And I divide it by g of x, which is 4x plus 5. I can't take a GCF out of the denominator. I can't take a GCF out of the numerator or denominator, so I'm done. However, there is one exception. You have to state what the domain cannot be equal to, what x value will not work. And in this case, x cannot be equal to what is going to make the denominator 0. A lot of students say, oh, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Okay, take the opposite of this number, which is negative 5, and divide by the number in front of x. That's it. x cannot be equal to negative uh, 5 over 4. And if you don't believe me, negative 5 over 4 times 4 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Hence, that can't work. That's not part of your domain. It's restricted. Other than that, uh, yeah, we're going to do composition of functions, which is, in my opinion, the most interesting and usually the most bothersome for students, but it's not too bad once you, you know, get the hang of it. Okay, have a good day.